Randall should be the one laying there, not your brother. Pete, if you're sure about this... Don't worry. I've got this. They... they had some supplies just sitting out and... and Norma caught me. I didn't think she was going to, but she, she, she let me go. Hope you're not thinking about jumping. Because if you do, I'm gonna have to come in after you. I'm not looking forward to that. No one wants to see that, Oak. Yeah, I know. Oh, freezing my ass off. Yeah. Coffee will warm you up. Go on. Damn, Oak. You can't call it coffee when more than half's whiskey. Uh, you sound like my ex-wife. She was more of a rum girl. Hey, City! Did you hear the one about the kittens who took over the boat? What? Oh, no. Berto, no. <laughs> it was a mutiny! <laughs> Berto, just stop it now, okay? I'm warning you. <laughs> Damn it. I despised a lot of them when I first got on board, but they grow on you. Like mold, they are. Nah, nah, sorry, that shit is out. How long does it take? What, to warm to them? I'd say it takes uh, one year, three weeks, and six days. Before I joined up with Pete, my brother and I were cooped up in an old canning factory. Food for ages. A lot of fat and happy people. But then, a young girl got taken. We followed a trail. It wasn't hard with all the blood. Ended up cornering the people who took her in this warehouse. All ten of us went in. Only I came out. You did the right thing. And it got my brother killed. The right thing can kiss my ass. A few weeks later, I came across Pete, ways up the coast. He saw that look on my face and he offered me a job. Didn't ask any questions, didn't turn me away, just welcomed me in. I know you think Pete walks on water, but he makes mistakes, too. Like what? Hiring you. <laughs> well, it's too late now. <laughs> well, I 
I think Berto's little routine is winding down so we can finally play cards. Care to join us? It'd be nice to have you there. Besides, none of us can remember the rules. Yeah. Do me in. Sounds like a challenge. You might regret it when I win that machete of yours. Are you sure you want to do this? I need to see him. I need to see that bastard's face. <laughs> Oh, God. He's dead. How could you? If he's dead, so are we. He got what he deserved. Norma's not gonna care why you did it. I wanted this. I, I did, but seeing him now... I wish I'd been the one to do it. Sam. It was my dad. My family. I didn't do it for you. I wanted to kill him. Well, as long as you got what you wanted, right? <sighs> Sam, calm down. My dad isn't even in the fucking ground yet, and you want me to calm down? I, I, I didn't mean... He ruined everything. He killed... <sighs> I know, I know. I don't know. Wait. You hear that? Michonne, it's Pete. Please pick up. Something's happened. I don't have much time. God. I hope you're listening. There's something you have to know. Norma and her people. They, they have the crew. Sadiq, Oak, and Berto. Don't worry. They're all in good hands here. But them staying that way is up to you. So listen closely. I'm willing to trade my brother for your friends. But anything you do to Randall, I will do to them. Do you understand? Look, you don't owe us anything. I just want to keep them safe. That's my deal, Michonne. That goes both ways. Anything you do to them, I'll do to Randall. Better not touch him! We'll be there by sunrise. Be ready for us.
She's coming here for her brother. What she sees what we do then. At least he can walk, right? If you can call that walking. Norma wants her brother. The bag helps. A little. Might be enough to stall her. And then what? Norma's not gonna leave us alone. She won't stop just because we gave her her brother back. Even if he was alive, we still burned all their shit. So we run. After you trade for your friends, we haul ass to the back gate and get the hell out of here. But she'd take the house. Let her have it. She knows where we are now. Hiding isn't an option. Where do you propose we go? I don't know. Does it matter? Anywhere would be better than here. I can't fucking listen to this. What? We're not done here. He's not going anywhere. <laughs> Sam, where are you taking him? God damn it. Sam, stop. Maybe you're all ready to walk away, but I'm not just gonna leave him like this. <laughs> we couldn't give my mom a real funeral. My dad and I had to bury her here. Just the two of us. He'd want to be with her. <laughs> That's all I can give him. There will be time to bury him later. Right now, we need to focus on Norma. We have to be ready to leave. I'm not going. What? Sam, you can't still be thinking My that... mom is here, Paige. Everything I have of her. And Greg, if you want to leave, go ahead, but I'm not coming with you. Sorry, but I, I can't go. This house meant everything to my dad. It's all I have left. I know you don't want to, but leaving might be your only option. It isn't safe here anymore. I know, but I, I can't just give up. We can fight. We can defend this house. No matter what happens, thank you. I owe you my life. Sorry it took me so long to say it. I know it's stupid, but I have to finish this. I've got some weapons stashed in my room. Old duffel bag. Should look familiar. You should make sure everyone's armed before Norma gets here. Yeah. I was just... wanted to know what it felt like. I, I wasn't gonna shoot it. And? How does it feel? It's, it's heavy. Empty.
Can I help? I want to do something. Sure, go ahead. Those slide in there. Round side forward. How could they just die like that? Greg and Dad. I, I thought we were safe here. What am I supposed to do? Everyone gets scared sometimes. I'm not afraid. <laughs> the guy who did it killed my dad. He's gotta, I mean, the things he said. He's our best chance of surviving. I heard you guys talking. There's more people coming to the house. Sam's hurt. If, if she, they can't hurt her too. Your sister's tough. I wouldn't worry about her too much. Here. I, I don't know if I'm ready. Take this to your sister. Norma's on her way. Things could go wrong in a hurry. She didn't always come to this. Janie, Rich, what's hold up? Prisoners aren't cooperating. What do you want us to do? Yeah, we don't have time for this. Get them moving. Is that music? I know you're scared, but you shouldn't hide. That only makes the bad stuff seem scarier. I'm not leaving. As long as I stay in my fortress, I'm safe. It keeps all the bad stuff out. I put pillows and blankets against the wall. It's nice, but it's not going to protect you from what's out there. It won't. But Dad said... Dad said those things wouldn't get me in here. I know what those monsters out there are. One to go. Grandma told me about them. It's what happens when someone eats another person. Oh? I hadn't heard that one before. Do they scare you too? They make lots of noise. Even at night. Getting scared is normal. Really? Happens to everyone sometimes. But my dad's not scared of them. I've been waiting for him. Where is he? Why didn't he come get me yet? He can't come right now. I want to wait here for my dad. Alex. I want my dad. I just I want my dad. I want Greg back. I want everything to go back to the way it was. <laughs> Daddy. I wish it could go back too. I wish it all the time. When Greg, when he, did he become one of them? It, it, it's what happens, right? No, no, don't think about things like that. We just need to keep going. That's all we have to do. The rest doesn't matter. Is 
that what's gonna happen to me? Am I gonna die and change into one too? No. I'm going to protect you. Nothing out there will hurt you. <sighs> Thanks. Two and three checked in. Coming up on the road now. Hey, keep the chatter to a minimum. Our friends are listening. <laughs> Thanks for letting me see your fortress. James Fairbanks, Alex Fairbanks. I should leave him alone. Oh, hey, I, I didn't hear you come in. Here. Were you able to talk some sense into her? Or is she still out there digging a hole in the ground? I've never seen her like this. I'm not gonna stop her from burying her father. You act like I'm doing this to be cruel. I get why she wants to do it, but we just can't. Not with Norma on her way. I don't know why Sam thinks she can protect her brothers here. I'll be out of your hair soon enough. Never belonged here anyway. Same as you. That's one thing we got in common. What do you mean, same as me? I know what it's like running from whatever. I spent most of my life doing that. Norma's gonna be here soon. If they're not ready, I won't stick around just to watch this fall apart. She's so stubborn, though. I just hope it doesn't get her killed this time. Then stay. Sam needs you. You're gonna regret it if you leave. Trust me. The Fairbanks kept me safe, but I don't know if I can do the same for them. Michonne, I'm uh, looking for Alex. Have you seen him? I want him to be there when I say a few words for Dad. He wasn't at Mom's funeral. He should be there for this. He's hiding in his closet. Thanks. I'll go get him. I'll meet you outside. Oh. <laughs> 
Sam? You okay? Greg and Dad? I just... I don't really know what to say. Where am I supposed to start? I don't know. Just say what he meant to you. Yeah. Okay. I'll give you a moment. You look a little... well, like you're losing it a little bit. Just remembering my kids. Did they... you know? I don't know. I wasn't with them. I don't know what happened to my family either. I thought about joining them, but it felt... weird. I mean... I live here, but I'm still not family, you know? They treat me like I am, but I know that's not true. Family is different. These days, families aren't the people you're born to. It's the people you stay with, the people who care about you. Pete's crew, they're a family. I guess that's true. I decided to stay, for Sam. Don't get cocky. It had nothing to do with what you said. Uh-huh. Michelle? She's here! <sighs> I thought we had more time. It's okay, it's gonna be okay. Sam! Just go upstairs with your brother, okay? I need you to hide until I come get you. What, what's gonna happen? He gonna hurt us? Y you'll stop them, right? Stay out of sight and you'll be safe. Norma's not after you. Stay together, no matter what. We will. Okay. I can get a clear shot of the front gate from upstairs. I'll cover you. If I can. I hope it doesn't come to that. You better not miss. I hope I don't. Paige, if anything goes wrong, I need you to take care of James and Alex. Don't talk like that. Paige, please. Sam, you know I'll... Grab Randall and meet us outside. Quiet out there. You ready for this? Getting your crew back? This isn't gonna stay peaceful for long. Be ready to fight when I tell you. You got it. Going on. I had my people hang back a bit. I wanted to talk first. Just us. Clear the air a little. Okay. Start talking. Hey, that is what I'm doing. 
I didn't come here to fight. See? I can be reasonable. Thought you can get rid of me, huh? Don't get used to it. Listen, Monroe is gone. Sunk down in the water like everything I built. You and I, we've each taken from the other. All I want now is my brother back. That's all. And I'll leave you be. He's right here. <laughs> Randall, you okay? <laughs> Just hang on. I got gotcha. you. One good turn. Any minute now. Safe and sound, just like I said. Now, give me Randall, and we can go our separate ways. You can't let her walk away. We're all homeless because of her. Daddy, it wasn't her fault. That's enough. Now be quiet. Michonne, please. I just want my brother. Let's be done with this. Deal? I want Pete's crew first. Then I'll give you Randall. Careful you don't take advantage now. Release that one. It's okay. We just need this to be over. Let him go, Gabby. I'm glad you're safe, man. I made good on my end. Now it's your turn. Give me Randall. Oak! Hey, put the gun down. I could shoot him and still have one more to spare. So you're gonna do what I've asked. Now! I came here willing to talk. But if you're gonna insist on being difficult... Don't hurt him, all right? Randall! You want to try that again? Randall isn't worth all this shit. Gabby, listen to After me. After everything they've done, you're still giving them more chances. We deserve retribution. Don't do this! Stop! No! No! Uh. Berto! Everyone put your guns down! I knew we couldn't trust them! Don't! Stand down! Please, don't hurt him. If you're not gonna do anything, we have to. That's not your call. I told you before, you hurt my crew, and I hurt Randall. I can make this red. <laughs> I'll give you that one, all right? We're even, as long as you let Randall go. I'm not gonna ask you again. No one else has to die. Is that a threat? It doesn't need to be. Hand him over! They shot her! Fuck! Oh, run! Randall! Kill him! Get to the house! Now! Move! 
strong. Go! Show now! Get that gate open!
make it stop. Just tell me what you want. Michelle, it's Dominic. What's Where the hell happening? are you? Go pack your things, okay? We have to go. Where's mommy? We tried to wait. We're, we're, we're heading to Dominic. Dad! She'll be fine. Come on. No, she'll come look for us. We have to be here. Michonne, if you're still... Just stay safe, okay? They need you. I did look for you. I came back. Thomas, it was just too late. Go. Why? I work. I... Say goodbye, girls. Your mother has to leave. Please, Mama. Stay here with us. She can't. Just let her go. Dominic, please. Just let me say goodbye. Come on, Alex! What are you doing? <coughs> no. Girls, enough. Let her leave if that's what she wants. Michelle! No, no. Don't go. Colette. She can't stay. We can't stay here! Girls, listen to me. I have to go. I just have to go. Michelle!
Sadiq's going to take a boat down to what's left of Monroe. Salvage what we can. We can drop you off in Oceanside or maybe one of the other communities up north. It's good people. Thanks. And thank you for everything. I don't know if we would have made it out of there without you. You found my brothers. You took care of Norma. We owe you a lot. You didn't need me, Sam. You would have figured it out on your own. I'm not sure if that's true, but thanks for saying so. It'll be harder out there, without Berto. Might lean on you a bit more. It's not gonna be the same without him. Are you gonna be okay, Pete? Yeah. Don't worry about me. Yeah, I guess that's a bit hypocritical of me, huh? I wanted to ask. When we got separated, I... I heard you calling for your daughters. What, what happened in there? I tried to find you, but I couldn't. I had to get everyone out and... I saw my daughters. I got to talk to them. But that's not possible, right? For them to be there. I know. Maybe you'd better start thinking about, you know, what if this doesn't go away? Maybe it won't, but this time when I saw them, I was able to walk away. Couldn't keep living in that moment with them anymore. I think it's time to stop running. Go back to your group, the people you left, your family, before you can't anymore. If I know anything, it's how goddamn impermanent things are these days. Before you know it, they'll be gone. I'll go back eventually. When I'm ready. Just don't take too long. Come on.